shocking day today. Me and cats and dogs, so I'm doing a bit of cutting now. Ripping down the planks for around the edge of the lawn. So what I'm doing here, I'm using a lot of offcuts for this. So this, these were left over from the cladding of the water feature and that. So you're obviously using clean edge and then scoring down and ripping them all down. I've got a few done behind me there, but it's just a good way of making use of a lot of the offcuts. And it's a perfect day to be doing something like this. So I'll crack on anyway. So we've got all our planks ripped down, ready to go in. Going to be coming off this edge here, which is the patio. Running around. These are set in at the height. Down here. And then it's also coming off the height of this. So I'll tuck the line through. So that represents our line and our height. out how they're going to be to get an accurate measurement to set this up so when we lay them we won't be having any cuts either side and then this line here that we've got running down there we've took our height across from there to there and then we've measured from there that point and from here this point across so it's square parallel with this area We've also double checked it in the corner with the square, like we've done there. For our height here, we've put a line block on here, ran it through down here, and then to get it right this end, we've where these lines intersect, they're just touching. And this point here for our height, we've got it running through to that point. So we're just it's a matter of just meeting, bringing two levels together. I've also squared that up to get the right distance, squared it up off that planter here and here and then and once again checked with the square there. So another thing I like to do is put a mark in. Where my line is I like to put a mark either side so I know if someone catches it uh, then I know where my reference point is, where thing can do is lay and then find out after the line's been knocked. So I'm going to do the same on that point there. So what I'm trying to say is the best way of setting up your lines is using, once you've got areas down like this, use them for your height and your lines. Square up off what you've got. Utilise what you've put in already. So we've got them all running around there and it's ready to go now. And I know when I put them in, all the levels are going to be right. It's worth spending a little bit of time setting out and then everything else will flow better and faster and it's going to be a better job as well. job because Craig baby has been finishing another job and then he's been on all these sunnings sunning himself in here beautiful Wales so he's back now let's go and catch up with him and here he is hello this is this is for the people of YouTube say hello I like YouTube lads <laughs> and girls it's nice to have you back you miss me I have I must admit I have missed you not only for your like Hard work, look at them triceps there. Eh? 
but also for your fun and humour. Yeah. Yeah. Full of it, aren't I? Yeah. Full of something anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so we're setting in these posts now for the archway and trellis. So we've got this one the right distance off the path and we're doing the same on that one off that side of the path. So it'll be equal as you look out it'll be equal on the path. In a thing. Alright. You know what? Do you know what I mean? I don't know. Well you do. Because I don't. Oh we've only got tutorials and try everyone on YouTube more. when you're ready. Side down. Oh, finished. Inside out. Upside down the chain. You're giving love instinctively. Yeah. You ready? I think so far. Gladiators. Ready. It doesn't matter, there's a little bit of a gap off that fence, that end. That's, that's a little bit enough.
niet, wat u zegt. Sexy weeks, sorry, we hebben het even sexy weeks. Most important thing is what's it like from down here? Oh, oh yes. Oh, I'm at top in. <laughs> Never gonna see it, are you? I'm gonna see it again. What are you saying? The middle. The middle. The middle of that one. Middle section of that. Yeah. Alright. Hello. So we're just setting these pad stones in, these will carry the weight of the, the deck. So we've got this one in on the concrete base, we'll just test it. This isn't the one we're using, we're using a different colour just for the, the depth. We've got the joist there, just putting it on. Check that it's at the right height and then we'll set everything off, off this. We've dug out for pad stones there and then on this side here, I think we'll actually good setting out. It's actually going to sit on this footing which we'll put in for the wall. So we'll just pack it up about 5mm on top of that. 
and then that'll carry the weight of this and as I say we've got we've dug out around there that side for the pad stones to carry that because we can fix onto the wall and onto the side of here on this side we can fix onto this but at the back because the bench is going to be here there's a bit of an issue with how do you make it floating so what we've come up with is a bracket well a post which will come out the ground and extend through to like here where the bench is going to finish and the planting will screen all that at the back so it'll just give the illusion of a floating bench a real floating bench and here's the uh, the brackets so we're just going to sink them in concrete them in job done
Boom. Boom, just go see her. Have some chips. Come on, honey. Come on. Oh, it's so sucky. Oh, my legs, my legs stand on. That's good. Yeah. Is that where the plan's going? And then you have the fish going around? No, you have a way in there. Be there. Why don't you just go in this house? <laughs> right, so the table's in, thankfully. So I've got it in position, we've levelled it up, dug out underneath each corner. So we've got a pad of concrete to catch each side and the same on the other side in there. So we're just going to do a nice wet mix, flop it in and then... Down on the job. As usual. As usual. You get into some funny positions. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Three bags of sand. <laughs> Tables in, concreted. Last bit of paving now, so we brought the concrete right up to the top. So I've got a mix on now. Just gonna knock up a bit of paste for the back, some slurry, and then get this last bit of pavings on. Sure. Yeah, I've you got, got it. it. Yeah, I've got it. All right, Paul. Can you bend your arm backwards? How much further? And the oh. hundred mil. Oh. That's it. That's the right. That corner. That's it. Hope he's got the bed right. Yeah, it's hard. The last, but most awkward. Black. <laughs> Yeah. 
Caught behind the Venetian blinds Had to reach for the city lines And this ain't where I belong Ain't look at me, man, what I become I've been running east Looking for something Tim Holton is going to be the nearest colour to this. It doesn't look like bad touching by the bag, but it was the best I could get. So I'll mix it a bit up, and if I need to, I'll add a bit of colour to it to darken it. Uh, so we get a good match to this. And these mitres here, they're going to be filled with resin. So I'm just grouting in these reveals in the niche, in the joints there, and at the back. taped up at the back there just got a resin these and then kitchen is finished we can have a barbie maybe <laughs> Thank you. 
little shift with me and Craigie baby and we're just getting the back patio ready for grouting so giving it a good clean down bl blew it off with the blower uh, clean the joints out uh, anything we could see physically in there with the grinder and then now we're just going along hoovering the joints up make sure they're nice and clean free of any debris and then we're going to give it a jet wash blow all the water off make sure it's it's dry and then uh, we'll, this afternoon we'll do some grouting near the end very near the end i can feel it i can sense it i can see it it's going to be a crack of this I don't think I'm going to get upset yet. You don't. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm feeling good. Yeah. Hands are going to get stuck now, aren't they? I'm under. Scared to feet? Yeah, I know. What's it like at the front? What's it like? It's stuck on my arm. Need yeah. to grab the top at the back. Okay. Yeah. Which one? Put the weight. Oh, right now. Oh, Are we on? Back leg. Back leg. Back leg. Go forward a bit, Matt. I think we're on. Where are we? Yeah. Just one need to. to go back more though. Okay. So you're on the back one, all right? Yeah. No, we're not even on the back one. Oh, yeah, no. It's to go back, doesn't it? Going back more, yeah. Kev, you reach there. Uh, you reach there, we'll lift it up. Pull, pull it forward a little. You're right with that okay, boy's yeah. seat. You're right. <laughs> on, can you slide the number on it? No, it's not That's better. better. Go on, do it again, Kev. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, it's on it yeah. anyway. Yeah, yeah. Come on, it will slide the back one. You get the front, Kev, yeah? Yeah. Oh. Right, that one there. That's yes. Fit it out that one again. Come on, Kev, what are you doing? It's Matthew's end. Matthew's. 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 Don't blame me, lad. You lifted your oh, end, that's too, I. Boss. That's pretty that's boss. Perfect side all the way around, right? Boss. Yeah. Is it open, Lawrence? 
Oh my word, that's so good. It's because Matthew planned it exactly. Come on, Anna. That sounds good. That's because I built it. Even with them, Ollie. On the weakest point. No, I think this is the weakest point. See it, let, see it lift up and Craig got off then. Yeah. yeah. I'm not getting off and whatever, no one's off. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's what he does, isn't it? Like? <laughs> right, so it's been a week or two since we finished the actual paving on the job. The client's got hold of all the plants, so I'm just back here now to plant them all. The icing on the cake. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life So I couldn't do it with the conventional staking method. What I would use for the bleach trees, which is one either side and a brace across the middle, because the access getting in there is, is too hard. So what I've done, I've put one this side, one stake, and I've run a rail through. I've put another stake this side, and then I've put a connecting rail right the way through, tied them on, and then also in the middle there to stop any lateral movements, I've put a button there off the wall to the fence and also on this side we've got like a small stake there for this one which is on its own and to tie the frames together i've also put a roofing button and zip tied it to the frames right the way through so they're joined as one and it's quite windy today and there's virtually no moving so i'm happy with that